Recently I mentioned Sam Jones, the Methodist evangelist. I mentioned him in one of my videos and I was actually going to use a picture of him as a thumbnail for the video. Uh, this is the one I was actually looking for right here, this picture of him doing the Masonic hidden hand gesture. Uh, he was a Freemason. He's a lost man. He's not a hero of the faith by any stretch of the imagination. Um, he was a wicked man. Uh, contrary, contrary to what Ruckman and a lot of the Baptists try to say about the guy, he was wicked. Um, you can't be a member of the Freemasons and be truly saved. Period. Uh, but some interesting pictures here as I was doing some research. So there you have the hidden hand thing. But then here you go to this one. Um, Sam Jones Tabernacle. For 20 years, thousands came annually to this site, attracted by the magnetic personality and forceful eloquence of Sam, Sam Jones, renowned evangelist and Christian crusader. Crusader? Hmm. Maybe that's why the uh, Rome commandery of the Knights Templar that he was part of came to his funeral, which I showed in the book about him. Here he built in 1886, at his own expense, a large open-air structure called the Tabernacle for the inter interfaith meetings begun in 1884. Until his death in 1906, he held services here each September, bringing to his hometown the co-workers who assisted him in the great revivals he held throughout the country. Interfaith meetings in 1886? Or, excuse me, beginning in 1884? Hmm. And yet you have the modern Methodist churches of today, and they're very much into the whole interfaith thing. They won't speak against the Catholic Church. Huh. Oh, but, but you know, it's modern. No, it was begun by Sam Jones. The Knight Templars, Sam Jones. And look at this interesting uh, gravestone here to Sam Jones. You can see the word Sam Jones right here. Can't get any closer than that, but Sam Jones. It's a obelisk, like the one in front of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. Freemasonic obelisk, like the uh, church steeples are designed after. Hmm. Sam Jones Memorial United Methodist Church. And it goes into who is Sam Jones. There's his grave right there. Samuel Porter Jones here on Wikipedia. Check this out. I thought this was an interesting thing. Um... In 1885, he headlined a revival in Nashville, Tennessee, where he converted to Thomas Green Ryman, who, along with Jones, Sam Jones, built the Union Gospel Tabernacle, later named the Ryman Auditorium, home to the Grand Old Opry after Ryman's death. So the Grand Old Opry that, that brought in the wicked modern country music and all the singing of adultery and drunkenness and fornication and everything else traces back to Sam Jones. Huh. Interfaith meetings and the Grand Ole Opry. Hmm. And there it is, the Ryman Auditorium, the Mother Church of Country Music, also called the Ryman or the uh, the Grand Ole Opry. There. Isn't that nice? The Mother Church. Thought that was interesting. And here's inside the uh, Sam Jones UMC right there. Let's uh, maximize this so you can see a little bit better. And right there is the senior pastor of the thing. And right here, right in front of the place there at the altar, you can see the cross with IHS, the symbol of the Jesuit order. Huh. Nothing to it, of course. Yeah. How about that? And here it is, the street view if you go to Google Google Maps or Google Earth or whatever else, there's the San Jones United Methodist Memorial Tabernacle. Huh. Looks to me like a Greek Parthenon. Why would they uh, design a uh, church to look like a pagan Greek Parthenon? And uh, behold, there's a obelisk in commemoration of Sam Jones, the Freemason and Knight Templar. But he's highly respected among the independent, fundamental, Bible-believing Baptists. Huh. Yeah, we're Bible believers in all matter of faith and practice. Amen. Amen. Uh, really? You bring your paganism in? Let's just go down the street here a little bit. Let's get a better look at this fine 
Sam Jones, Parthenon, Greek Parthenon. Turn around here a little bit. Can't see the obelisk now because it's behind that tree there. But, uh, hello. Nothing wrong with this. This is a this is the work of fine Christians. I mean, yeah, there's there's no scripture for it, you know. And I find it interesting too that this uh, state building or whatever else here has this sort of the the rounded dome like the womb of the woman, you know, like St. Peter's Basilica in Rome has that. And there's the uncircumcised phallic symbol there. Hmm. How about that? So there's your Greek Parthenon. But I'll show you something else very interesting my wife found here. This is the uh, jackhileslibrary.com, jackhileslibrary.com. Um, funny that this is the uh, original church, I guess. It's like a Catholic cathedral to me. Go down through here, all these different pictures of Jack Hiles the pervert. There he is with John R. Race. I don't know who that guy is. Putting on a good performance there, of course. Smiling, happy. Nothing wrong, nothing to see here. There he is in the military before he became a preacher. What a faker. We'll be getting to the picture here in a minute. His preacher boy thing that he likes to do and all that stuff, whatever else. Create some of the worst heretics out there. Preaching salvation with no repentance. Just believe and then you get to continue in whatever sins you want. And there he is with... Uh, Russell Anderson, Russell Anderson there again. But how about this picture right here? St. Mary Baptist Church. Okay. Uh, how in the world do you get a Baptist church called St. Mary? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there's no connection between the Baptist, you know, the Hiles Baptist types and all oh, Baptists in general and the Catholic Church. I mean, you know, no connection at all. I mean, you have Gene Kim. Let me open up a tab here. Uh, Gene Kim in the line of the great uh, Bible believing Baptist preachers. And uh, he's running his cult building out of a Catholic church right there's the video of it goes through the here and stuff and shows the proof so I'm not going to, to do the whole thing there but you know Gene Kim running his his cult building out of a, a, a Catholic you know building so yeah nice but uh, I found it interesting. So you have this St. Mary Baptist Church, but they actually do a St. Mary Baptist Church. I tried to find the picture just doing it this way. And there's one there. There's one there. There's one there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Thankfully, this one burned to the ground. That's good. Um, St. Mary's Baptist Churches all over the place. Baptist Church after Baptist Church after Baptist Church named after St. Mary. Hmm. Um, the more I find out about the Baptists and their heroes of the faith like this perverted Satanist right here and the fact that he's got this uh, Grand old Opry comes from this man. He helped to finance it and raise money for it. There's the church building that uh, Sam Jones uh, for interfaith meetings and all this other stuff. Uh, and, you know, the fact that Sam Jones was a Mason doesn't have anything to do with them building the church building for him I'm sure you know Freemasonic structure called a church with the uh, service here being held this is July 18th 2021 when the Jesuit uh, 
symbol on the cross there. All kind of ties together, doesn't it? Uh, so that's going to be it. Stay away from these Babel buildings. They're satanic. Thank you for watching.